Let's test our mod properly this time. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more and in this modding tip we're going to be talking about how you can properly test your mod so that it doesn't break for the end user. Now your players are probably still going to find some issues, those will just slip through your cracks because you haven't even thought of the possibilities and also if your mod is ever added into a mod pack with like 200 other mods, you cannot possibly plan for every different interaction with every other mod, so things are inevitably going to break. But in between? we can at least test some stuff. So as we know, Minecraft is separated into server and client. So usually we've only ever run the client, but we can also run the server. Now with this works the same in Forge as it does in Fabric. You can just go to your Gradle tab, Forge Gradle runs or Forge or Fabric for Fabric basically, and you can run the run server here. So if we just run this, what you're gonna find is the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to do some stuff and then it's going to spit out an error. That is totally normal. You can see existing connection was forcibly closed. Interesting. Why is that the case? Well, if we actually click here, we can see that you need to agree to the EULA in order to proceed. So we're going to go into our run folder and you can see here we have a EULA text file right here. Just double click it and change this to true. After setting this to true, we can now run the server again. You can see it's now our default here in our tasks. We can change this to client in just a moment, but for the time being, we're going to stick to server and now the server is actually going to start. You can also see that this is going to work because in the run folder it's actually going to generate quite a few new files for us but we're going to see that in just a moment. So first of all we have this right so now our server is actually starting over here and we can also see we just expand this a little bit. As you can see, they're preparing spawn area, so everything is starting to set up. We can see the same one as well inside of the run server over here. So this is going to have the same output as this one right here. And you can now see the server properties have been added and stuff like that. Now, usually you would be able to join the server, but because we are in the because we're in the development environment, we can't actually join the server just yet. We have to close out of it. So just stop the server. There you go. And then we need to go into our server.property file and then go into online mode. So online mode has to be false because we aren't logged into Minecraft. We have to turn this off and then we can actually join the server. So now we can run the server and then I can also switch to run client and then also run this simultaneously. If your PC is not the strongest, this might slow down your PC quite a bit. So you might have to actually close a bunch of stuff and you can't have everything open at the same time because you're effectively running two instances of Java simultaneously, so this can be quite intensive on your PC, but overall it should usually work. So we can see here, the server has already started, and then right here, Minecraft has also started. And there we go. Now we can go to multiplayer, of course this is all fine, then we can add a server, and the server is under localhost. We're just going to say done, and you can see, there we go, we're actually finding the server. Now I can just join the server and usually it should work without any issues. So there you go. And I'm now actually on the server. I can say something and you can see dev test. So now I'm just going to opt myself. So opt dev in this case. And now I can also change to creative mode in this case. Let's go to creative mode. There you go. And then we can see all of our stuff here. I can set it down and everything should be working exactly how you would expect it to. Now what I'm, for example, interested in is whether or not the eight ball still works and of course it does still work so that's very interesting indeed everything seems to be working totally fine and you can then test it out on the server because sometimes things should not happen on the server that do and this is a great way of actually trying this out so i highly suggest before you publish your mod really take a look at this take a look at whether or not it works on the server sometimes you're going to get error messages the great thing is you can also debug your way through the server as well because the server and the client share roughly the same code you can just walk through and you can also take a look at the errors on the server so usually it works the same way just so that you have two windows open at that time and that is going to be okay as well right this would be it for this morning tip right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new and i'll see you all in the next video so yeah <laughs>